Yeah, look, I ride around with the guns. These ain't sold on my hood. Flexing my cash on the stud. Uh, I tell her right from that book. Uh, I never sip on no more. I just pull up at the cut. Nigga want to. So Sanando's been back on YouTube for a little while and I haven't really taken too much uh, consideration into viewing his channel because I said a couple of months ago, when Sanando comes back, he's probably going to make the same content as he did before. And what do you know? I was right. He's gone back to making his old content. He's gone back to his old ways, which eventually got him terminated in the end. He's being a lot more careful with his approach on YouTube, but it's still the same message with what he's doing in his videos, you know, taking GTA 6 to GameStop, will they trade it in? Of course they won't because the game isn't even out yet. The guy's still doing GTA 5 videos. He's still doing like the campaign videos, you know. What happens after Michael dies? What happens after Trevor dies? No one really cares about GTA 5's campaign. And I mentioned that in a 0.4 live video. He does the exact same content as Nort. And it's just pointless and meaningless because obviously without mods, there's nothing you can really do. There might be a little thing which you get at the end of the story. Like when Michael dies, you'll get a text from Amanda. And she knew that you killed Michael. And you get a text message to say, stay away from me that is it that's all you get but that is it you don't get anything else if there is anything else then let me know in the comment section there's nothing you can do to save these characters without mods because they'll just die they'll die regardless because that's your choice in the game but yet these people still do videos on it in 2018 you're five years late if you did it in 2013 then maybe it would have been fine but it's 2018 now red dead 2 is right around the corner and you're still making gta 5 videos i guarantee these guys are going to start doing red dead 2 clickbait i guarantee i bet my life on it i can guarantee you 100 percent for real that they will be doing Doing Red Dead 2 clickbait. It's a Rockstar game. Whenever Rockstar releases a AAA game like that, it's going to get views. It's going to get heat. Everybody's going to be playing it. Just like God of War, just like Fortnite, everybody is going to be on that game. First Red Dead, never played it. One of the best games of the last generation. Look at Red Dead 2. It's going to do way better than Red Dead 1. So it's obvious. But yeah, Sanando. Another annoying thing about Sanando, he's making the same rehash content time and time and time and time and time again. So if you don't believe me, I'm on one of his videos now. So he did that experiment video. I say that with very light quotations, yeah? He says, what happens if we put a PS4 disc in a PS1? So we're going to be reacting to this video and see what our boy Gene's got in store for us. So without further ado, let's actually get into this video. The PlayStation 1, a very old school console that a lot of you guys probably never got the opportunity to even play. I mean, it's understandable unless you guys uh, were born around December 3, 1994 when the console actually came out. Then, yeah, a lot of you guys probably haven't played it. But if you have, then, oh my god, dude, this game system is pretty cool. I mean, it's very small and compact. It looks really nice looking, especially around the time when it came out. And here I'm wondering what will happen if we actually experimented with this console as of today's date so in today's video i wanted to go ahead and see the limitations of the playstation 1 and see what exactly we can do with it so a couple of months ago i actually went ahead and got my hands on a playstation 1 and attempted to see exactly what will happen if i were to go ahead and run a couple of uh playstation 4 games and ps3 games on it to see if it was actually able to go ahead and run them and here are the results of that video so we're going to be putting in gta 5 right here Let's go ahead and stick it in. So let's go ahead and uh, power it on. Oh snap. Oh. 
Alrighty, so hopefully something actually happens this time. At least like a message or or something, man. Come on, PlayStation 1. Come on, man. Alright, there's little tiles on the main screen. Anything whatsoever? I guess we can conclude that nothing will go ahead and happen. When I actually made that video, I honestly didn't think it would get as many views as it actually did. I was just yeah. fooling around with an old console that I just purchased and I just wanted to see if it simply ran PS4 games. That's it, man. So even though GTA 5 doesn't work for the PlayStation 1, that doesn't mean we can go ahead and not make the game look like it's on PlayStation 1. So basically, he has a menu up. You know, what happens if GTA 5 was a 90s game on the ps1 somebody else made it for him he put in the video he gave credit at least that's a good thing that he done but then he goes on for 10 minutes saying oh i wonder if i could do this and then he just talks about his day what he's done in the day and then he takes fucking forever to get straight to the point typical sanando and then he has three copies to top it off the most annoying thing he has three copies of japanese games three japanese copies of yakuza witcher and assassin's creed and he's going to put that in the north american ps1 what do you think happens guys what do you actually think will happen guys do you think it'll work or do you think it will not read at all because i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong that most ps1s if not all ps1s are region locked i think all consoles are region locked you're not allowed to play like you're not allowed to play north american copies on a european console or you're not allowed to play a japanese copy on a north american console that's pretty self-explanatory right and anyone that sees the title of the video is gonna think no you can't do that you're wasting everyone's time you could have titled it what if gta or what if gta 5 was on the ps1 then maybe your viewers might be thinking maybe i'll watch that video but no it's sanando and the reputation he has already, I don't think anyone really wants to go and view his channel. Another bit of evidence which shows that he makes the same rehash content time and time again is the GTA 5 on highest settings possible. He did that a while ago and that got almost a million views. He did that a few days ago. It's the same video and it's got a picture of Trevor and the actor that portrays him. I think his name is Stephen Ogg. I think that's his name. If it isn't, then I'll put it up on the screen right here. It's the actor that portrays him in GTA 5. Looks like a spitting image of him. That's on highest setting possible. And then you have the lowest settings possible as well. It's just a pixel. I'm, I'm just thinking the guy's running out of ideas. He's running out of ideas and he's just making the same rehash content as he did before so he can stay a bit relevant on YouTube. But the good thing that we've all done, not just me, not just you guys, all of us as these channels exposing these scumbags, let's say, they're becoming irrelevant. Now, I know you're going to be saying, wait, 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 that's quite hypocritical from you, Blacks, because you're talking about the guy and he's going to get a little bit more views and you're going to help him out a little bit more. I understand that. But remember what I said in the Sanando video a while ago, my first rant on him? Now, there's one extension which you need for Chrome. I don't know if you can get on Safari or Firefox. So what you need to do is get this one extension called Video Blocker. Pretty much goes by the title, okay? Download that. And all you need to do is right click. Now, if you've got Adblock installed, you know that it has like a, um, a drop down menu where it says block this ad or block an ad on this page. Under that, it will just say block this videos, block the videos from the channel. All you need to do is go onto his channel or just type it in the search bar. And then obviously all those videos will come up. All you got to do is right click and then it'll say block these videos from the channel. And then it's gone. They're all gone. You don't have to worry about them anymore. And that is it. Okay. I wasn't paid to say that if i was paid to say that you know video blocker sponsor me let me know i think we can make a deal on this but yeah that is pretty much it for the video all in all more of the story sanando still hasn't changed and you know it's not surprising because he's like i'd say he's on death's door with youtube you know he's not going to get as many views as possible maybe when red dead 2 comes out then his channel will skyrocket up again but the reputation he has already i don't think anyone really cares about sanando anymore sanando is under decline and you know, that's good to see. He's got terminated before. It's like Dove. We know what he's going to do. We know what he's going to come out with, but I just wanted to give you an update on how his channel is done. I want to give you my opinion on what he's been doing. And, you know, as I said before, I'm not surprised, but, you know, that's YouTube. People aren't going to change their ways. They don't really care. Prime example of a YouTuber caring only for the money and his monetary game, other than his viewers and what his viewers think. So that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications as well so you never miss an upload. Click the little bell down below as well. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below in the description. Other than that, have a great day. My name's from Blacks TV, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Like that, like that. 